Next in the builder category and from hockey, Mervyn Red Dutton. It's fitting that Red Dutton, a solid performer on the blue line and in the boardroom, is being inducted into the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame. As a rugged defenseman, Dutton recorded 1,273 penalty minutes in 616 games with the Calgary Tigers of the Western Canadian Hockey League and Montreal Maroons and New York Americans of the NHL. He also scored 171 points, but primarily he'd like to step into people. Old-timers still talk about the time Dutton was with the Americans and the referee was standing at center ice prior to the opening face-off. Let's get going, Dutton said. The official said, wait a minute, I don't even have a puck. Red replied, never mind the puck, let's start the game. Born a century ago in Russell, Manitoba, Dutton almost didn't play pro hockey at all. In World War I, he was pulled out of a chalk pit after lying for three days with a dozen pieces of shrapnel in his right hip and leg. There was talk of an amputation, but Dutton limped out of the hospital 18 months later, determined to play hockey again. And he did, first with the Winnipegs in 1919-20 and then with Calgary. Dutton retired as the player after the 1935-36 season and coached the New York Americans for six years until the club folded as the Brooklyn Americans in 1942. Frank Calder, who had been president of the NHL since 1917, died in February 1943. And Dutton agreed mainly because of his friendship with Calder to fill in on an interim basis. He remained president until September 1946, the only Manitoban to hold the position. Returning to Calgary, Dutton had a successful business career. He was chairman of Burns and Dutton Concrete and Construction and served on the board of a number of business and community organizations, including the Calgary Exhibition and Stampede, Homestead Oil, the Calgary Stampeders Football Club, and Alberta Distillers and Stampede Motors. In 1967, Dutton, a St. John's College alumnus, returned to Winnipeg to officially open the Dutton Memorial Arena at St. John's Ravenscourt School. The rink was dedicated to the memory of his two sons, Joseph Mervyn Dutton and Thomas Alexander Dutton, who were killed while serving with the RCAF in World War II. The international-sized rink was intended for the school's teams and also as a practice ice for Canada's national team. It was built through the inspiration and generosity of Dutton, Max Bell, James Richardson and others. Premier Duff Roblin assisted Dutton and his third son Norman at the official opening. Also in town for the dedication and a hockey night in Winnipeg dinner were Bell Clarence Campbell, Eddie Shore, Sid Abel, Foster Hewitt, Jim Coleman, Bay Pratt, Monsignor Athel Murray, Father David Bauer, King Clancy, and Frank Boucher. Red Dutton died on March 15, 1987. He was inducted into the NHL Hockey Hall of Fame in 1958 and is now a member of the Manitoba Sports Hall of Fame.